Hi guys, Alana here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do DIY eyelash extensions at home. Now these are not the mink eyelash extensions. However, if you are interested in getting mink eyelash extensions, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do so at least once in your life. I mean, they are pretty much on the expensive side, especially to maintain them. But I think that every woman should experience eyelash extensions at least once in her life because they are awesome. But today, we are not doing mink eyelash extensions. We are using the clusters. Yes, regular old clusters that you get from the beauty supply store, any like Walmart, anywhere where they sell eyelashes, they most likely sell clusters as well. Now, there are so many benefits to having your eyelashes already semi-permanently attached to your face when you wake up. I'm not even gonna lie, it does sound weird. But, think about it. You wake up like this. You wake up on fleek already. You don't have to get up and do makeup and, and do everything else that you would normally do because your eyelashes are already done. These these bad boys are right up my alley and I'm gonna show you guys how to do them today. So stay tuned if you guys wanna learn how to do your own eyelash extensions at home. So you're gonna need your individual eyelashes. They look like this and they do come in three different sizes, long, medium, and short, which I do have all three. And of course you're gonna need some lash glue. I found this on Amazon. I will link that down below as well as some slanted tweezers and I will also link these down below as well. So the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that your eyelashes are clean of any type of debris. That means mascara, eyeliner, glue adhesive from the strip eyelashes that you wore earlier during the day. Just wanna make sure that you clear all of that out before you start adding your extensions. So I'm just gonna take a wet wipe here and I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the top of my eyelid. Now I don't have on any eye makeup today or any mascara so it didn't really take me long to remove anything. But if you do have a lot of mascara on, make sure that you remove all of it before you get started. Trust me, it will turn out a complete mess if you don't. <laughs> so the next thing that I'm going to do is take this spoolie brush here and I'm just going to brush through my eyelashes. My lashes are extremely curly, so they tend to clump up a bit and kind of end up going, you know, in between each other. So what I'm going to do is just detangle them out a little bit. That way they're a little bit more spread out and easier for me to apply the lashes to. Next thing that I'm going to do is pour a little bit of the glue onto this jade stone that I have. Now I'm using a jade stone because it does keep the glue cold. You don't have to go out and get one of these. You can use a glass plate or a saucer. And you only need a little bit. That's definitely good for us to use right now. Now as far as sizing goes, I am using three different sizes. You kind of have to gauge off of what works for you. Some people have smaller eyes, so they tend to stick to small or medium size lashes. For me, I have really big eyes, so I'm gonna use large, medium, and a little bit of small. Most of the medium is gonna be visible on my lashes. I'm only gonna use the long at the end just to kind of give it a nice little flare. And the short, I'm just gonna kind of use them on the inner corners just to kind of make the eyelashes look a little bit more uniform just like they would if they were strip lashes. I'm gonna start from the outer corner and I'm, and I'm gonna start with the long clusters. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it like this. Use my tweezers to remove the cluster from the packaging, okay? Now, I like to hold my eyelashes a certain way, which is with them facing up, the flare going up, and my tweezers pointed in towards me. So you're gonna grab it right in the middle, so the bulb is still kind of peeking out a little bit. Can you guys see that? And it's flared upward, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead and dip it just a little bit, just the end, into your glue. Get just about this amount of glue on there, literally not really a lot at all. Okay, so I'm gonna look up 
and I'm gonna attach it right at the bottom of the last set of lashes and then push up. Now when you attach this, you wanna attach it to the actual hair and not your skin, okay? If you attach it to the hair, it will fall off with the natural life cycle of your eyelashes. If you attach it to the skin, there may be some irritation, you may risk getting glue in your eye, just a whole lot of things can go wrong with attaching it to your skin. So please, please, please try to get the eyelash as close as possible to your lash line without touching your skin, okay? It's a challenge, but you can do it. Okay, so I'm only gonna do longs on the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna do long from maybe here to here, and then from here to here, I'm gonna do medium, and then the inner corner is going to be all smalls. So I'm going to stop talking now and I'm just going to go ahead and apply the lashes and you guys can see how I do it. So again, go under. Even if you have to hold your eye up a little bit, you want to go under and just leave it there. Give it a couple of seconds to dry before you move on. Also, another tip that may be helpful, you don't want to put them on top of each other you know, the eyelashes, when you're gluing them down, you really wanna make sure that you leave a little bit of space in between them to allow them to dry. And then also you don't want the lashes clumping up together because then you'll risk ripping out your lashes. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna definitely be able to space them out a little bit. And if you wanna fill in the spaces, you can do that later and I will show you how to do it. Also, once you get the eyelash on the eye, unless you need to turn it around or wiggle it to reposition it or something, leave it alone because it needs to dry in that position or else you'll risk sliding it around and moving it and messing up your eyelashes. Okay, so now I've done a few of the long lashes on the outer corner. Now I have a couple of them done in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of short to the inner corner. So this is what they look like so far. The basic application is done. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more dramatic than this, you can go back in with some long and medium and or medium and just kind of fill in the spaces, which is what I'm about to do now. This would be really good for like a really super natural look, but who wants to be natural anymore? Not I, so. So this eye is done. It's a little bit more dramatic than, you know, the natural look. So if you're going for the natural look, you can stop it like that first layer. But I did about two, so it's a little bit more dramatic. The glue is still wet, so it may still be visible a little bit, but it will dry in a couple of minutes. What I'm gonna do now is move on to the other eye. I'm gonna do this one off camera. That way, this video is nice and <laughs> conveniently short. Um, but just wanted to mention the reason why we like to add the eyelashes under the eye is so that when you close your eye you don't see a whole bunch of little knots and knobs right here it looks like the eyelashes are just kind of coming out of your eyes or you know like a strip lash is just you know not bulky right there and it looks like i have just really thick eyelashes so let me go ahead and do this eye and i'll be right back okay so i went ahead and finished all my lashes and this is what they look like now they're not completely dry yet this side is more dry than 
this side because obviously I just did it. So once you're done, what you're gonna do is just take your spoolie brush. But I would definitely suggest that you keep a couple of these around. After they're dry, you would go ahead and just lightly brush through just to make sure that they're all going the same way. They're not stuck together. They're not all nappy. And I think that they look really nice. When I wake up tomorrow morning without my makeup, I'm still gonna be eyelash fresh, okay? The whole process took me about 30 minutes. My eyelashes usually last about one to two weeks, just kind of depending on what my activities are during the week because I do steam my face. Another thing, once you do these, do not get them wet for 24 hours after you apply them so that the glue can cure, meaning it can set and hold into place. If you get them wet, you risk loosening up the glue and then their eyelashes are gonna fall off and then this was all for nothing. Also, when you're washing your face, don't wash your eyes. When you are wearing makeup, you don't need to put any mascara on the top, obviously, because your eyelashes are already on fleek. And you may not need, or you may actually want to avoid the winged eyeliner as well while you have these eyelashes on. And let this speak for itself. You can still wear eyeshadow, but just remember to remove all the makeup with some oil-free makeup remover. You want to use your spoolie one to two days in a row just to kind of brush out any kinks you might have in your lashes sometimes like when I first started wearing eyelashes I would wake up and my eyelashes would be like this so you don't want that to happen because obviously you're gonna look crazy so make sure that you're brushing through them pretty often so I think that's it that's all I have for you guys today if you like this video please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe as well as share with someone who you think might find this video helpful <laughs> i can't wait to see you guys in my next video leave a comment below and let me know what else you guys would like to see until next time thank you so much for watching bye